Python environment setup. Let's learn to install Python for you. This is a tutorial for installing it on Windows. Once you're done, let's explore it. We'll also discuss some possible installation issues and how to deal with them. First, you'll need to download the installer from the Python website, python.org. There, you can pick the latest version or an older one if you want, like version 2.7.16. Then you have a variety of options to choose from, tarballs, zip files, and different kinds of installers. Let's download for Windows. Depending on whether you want it for a 32-bit or a 64-bit architecture, take your pick. Let's download an executable installer for 32-bit. When you're done downloading, run the installer this is the first screen you'll see. It has two main options, Install Now and Customize Installation. This lets you choose which features to include. It also asks whether you wish to add it to the path environment variable, so you don't need to do it manually. You need this so Python knows where to look for something when you import it. You can also install for all users Let's choose to customize. It gives you a list of options. Do you want to install the official documentation so you can refer to it offline? Do you want pip to install more packages? Will you be developing GUIs with this? Do you need the IDLE? And do you need a test suite for your application? Some advanced options now. This has options for tasks like creating shortcuts and adding to paths. The default install location looks something like this. But you can choose to install it anywhere. Now as it's installing, it gives you a progress bar. It downloads the necessary files onto your machine. We're done installing. Now you can find it in your start menu. Another way to work with Python is to do it in the command prompt. Just type Python and you'll be taken to the Python prompt. Python downloaded with the IDLE for you if you chose that option. This is the integrated development environment. Open it and you'll see a white window with a prompt. Some people also use it as a handy calculator. And if you ever stuck, you can refer to the manuals and the module docs for more insights. If you ran into some issues when installing it, you're probably looking for help. It would be impossible to discuss every possible issue here, but let's talk about three of them. You may need to install the Windows Service Pack 1 in some cases. This is available for download on the internet. Sometimes you may need to install this KB file for an error. You can also check the log file of the installer to see where the installation failed. So now you're ready to explore Python. Stay with me through the course and together we'll tread the path to mastering Python.